not gonna lie. Low-key excited for this video. Not my chair creaking. <laughs> it's so creaky. Hi guys, it's Anna and today I'm so so excited because I am gonna be writing like Lee Bardugo. Is it Lee Bardugo? Lee Bardugo? I don't I don't really know. And if you haven't lived under a rock, um you would know that she's made awesome books. Namely these two that can I just say I read before all the hype went down on book talk, but I'm an original fan. And of course, since I've read a lot of her books, I have become obsessed with her writing and therefore she's one of my favorite authors. So I did a little bit of research and was able to find out how she writes. So that's what we're gonna be doing in this video. So if you guys can maybe see here, I kind of put a little bit of a list together to what she kind of values. And since she is an outliner, she definitely loves using a lot of outlining tactics and tips and tricks. So we're going to go ahead and try some of these out. And today I'm going to be plotting a new book, which is so, so exciting. And I'm going to be using all of her tactics, her tips, her whole writing routine to help me plan for this book. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get onto it. So her first tip is to actually get offline. She really encourages, um, you know, setting your phone to silent, even going off the internet. This just helps her um, limit distractions um, and just makes her focus really on her book. When Lee Mardigo was writing a lot of her book, she works full time. I like many of us who go to school, go to uni, you know, she's an absolute superhero. And the other second tip before we get onto actually plotting is she doesn't compare herself to anybody. It definitely is a huge thing to get over um, as a writer and especially as a young writer because we're constantly, you know, comparing ourselves. I'm right now comparing my writing routine to an author's. So that kind of, mm. but I'm going to be trying just to like get everything out of my head before I start plotting and just like remember that my writing is unique and different and original and I should not be comparing to anybody. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and finally start Plotting. So as I said, Lee Bardugo is such a big plotter, unlike me, and she does have an agenda that she goes through whenever plotting a new novel. First, she creates a very loose three-act structure, which just has the three main points of action. And a graph kind of looks like this. Next, what she does is she makes a one-page summary of her plot and story and what she wants to tell. I think this is actually such a great way to just kind of have your book, your ideas in one page and keep it to one page because... I can go on a ramble, I can tell you. The third thing she does isn't actually writing, it instead is reflecting. She deals with her doubt and maybe fear of this new book idea through journaling. If you didn't know, I love journaling, so I definitely love this step and I'm so glad that she's including it. And the fourth and final thing is she starts the 200 page extended plot. And this is basically the zero zero draft. And this is a quote that I pulled from a website that she had said, and it goes like this. I am an outliner. I write through a three act structure. I build all my books in pretty much the same exact way. I have the idea. I write it out onto a single page so that I essentially have the book that is one page long. And then I begin to fill in all the things that I know. And I found this by Writer's Digest. So let's go ahead and do step one. So I actually use Millinote um, to do my structures. I honestly um, don't use this too, too much, but if I am doing anything like this, like plot structure or three act structures, this is what I use. This is a free website and um, I know a few authortubers are sponsored, but I'm not sponsored. I just kind of use this because it's pretty, pretty cool. So yeah, if you did want to plot along with me, definitely feel welcome to, but without further ado, let's go ahead and try and plot out my book. Okay guys, so I actually just finished um, my three act structure and that just helped a lot seeing it as a like overview um, and just like taking a step back and just thinking, okay, how are these acts related and linked and how can I maybe come up with some new ideas in between? So yeah, that's my three act structure. So now that we've finished that, we can move on to step two. So step two again is the one page summary of basically the plot and what I want to tell my story to be. So let's go ahead and attempt, attempt to put my whole story in one page. Before I start my big, um, you know, thing, I kind of wrote my three act structure pretty well. I think I remembered most of the main points that I wanted to come across, but for a whole page plot, I definitely wanted to um, revisit some of my world building and the planning I did beforehand. So I'm going to go ahead and have a gaze at that. Okay, so I cannot remember where I saved this huge ass document. It is huge. Um, I think I put it in projects. 
um, so it's good just to kind of get this inspiration through so I'm gonna go ahead and read a lot more of this and hopefully I can come back and get a full page done let's go I'm like low-key getting so many like memories and stuff like that from writing all of this like I totally forgot doing the character sheets I totally forgot doing all this world building um y'all this book i'm sorry this is kind of off track um but this book this book but i'm probably just procrastinating i'm um, actually doing my book so i think that's enough like research um so let's go ahead and write the page it it did take a while and I'm not sure if you guys could see but I kept like shrinking down the text because I realized how short how freaking short one page is but we have it as you can see my huge big page and of course I had my act structure just here to kind of help me get all the points but towards the end I definitely do rush a bit so I definitely try to do some revisions in order to kind of make it more succinct and understandable so yeah that is the one page plot. Fourth and final thing. This is the huge 200 page draft. <laughs> and um, I am so scared to write this, not gonna lie. It's kind of basically like writing the story for yourself. For all my other books, I've written a full, you know, length draft, which is like 300 pages, 200 pages seems a little bit more condensed. And I think the way that she does this is more states the obvious instead of going into detail or you know incorporating too much world building so let's go ahead and attempt that i really am excited to see how i go Guys, I totally forgot about step three. What the heck? Step three, how did I forget about step three? As you can see, it's literally like nighttime. Um, literally time flies. But I had to stop writing for a little bit because I do tutoring. So I needed to do that for an hour. And by then the sun was down. This video isn't over yet. Don't you worry. But I think I was just getting way too excited about my book to the point where I literally just started to jump straight to step four. As you guys can see, I did quite a lot. Um, not too, too much, but I've definitely plotted quite a lot. Um, so that is my zero draft. Since I've literally done step four, I'm gonna go back and do step three. Okay guys, so I finally finished um, journaling. I journaled a page and um, it was actually really fun. I kind of realized an ongoing theme in my doubts and the things that I've been a little bit worried about. And I guess that kind of includes not finishing my book. With a lot of my novels, I have yet to basically finish one full on. Um, and I always get a little bit scared um, just thinking like, what if I shelve this book? What if I lose interest? What if I just like put it away and never pick it up again. I kind of came to the conclusion that it will always be here for me and it's my idea, my book. So it will always be special and it will always have memories. So it's all good. So that is the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was literally so, so fun. I, <clears throat> I think 
I really love the way that she plots. If you guys maybe wanted me to try a new author, definitely comment down below. Um, but I hope you guys subscribe to my channel because I work really hard in these videos and I really appreciate it if you guys could subscribe. Kind of branded, not gonna lie. But aside from that, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next Rider Lee video. Bye! Yeah.